Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here from Arizona. I am in the fish house and I'm actually doing a little bit of renovation in here because we are gonna be adding a second frag tank to the system. Uh, right now we currently have the one, which you guys have been following what I'm doing. You would have seen the uh, frag tank go up, but you probably have not seen any corals in there or anything. I'm still gonna make a separate video on some of the corals, but uh, this video is actually something a little bit different because I know a lot of you guys are subscribed to me for freshwater uh, stuff, such as plants and uh, freshwater fish. So we're still gonna continue to do that. I think on Saturdays, we're going to do saltwater videos and on Sundays, we're gonna do freshwater videos. So I think that's the route we're gonna go with this. And again, it's probably gonna be more of a propagation type channel to show how to propagate uh, plants and corals and just updates that go on from time to time within the fish room. So uh, let me show you what we are uh, doing here. And okay, thing. so as you can see here, we have a setup right here under a grow light. So if you wanna kinda check this out, oh, as I'm tripping over stuff on the floor, you really can't tell, but there are several red LEDs and three blue ones. And you kinda get like that reddish, pinkish glow. And over here, we have a 6500K shop light, which 6500K is the daylight color. And what really we're gonna judge here is how well these actually grew uh, Glosso. So basically the 6500K uh, shop light is what I've grown all my aquatic plants in the past. And this one right here is new to how I'm growing aquatic plants. And as you can see down here, I'm actually using two of them to grow uh, macroalgae. That's uh, catomorpher or chatomorpher. That's basically how people pronounce it. People just call it cato for short or chato for short, depending on how you pronounce it. It's one or the other. Again, every body has different ways of saying this particular type of macroalgae. But that's we're not doing salt water today. We are doing fresh water. I <laughs> just wanted to show you. I actually am utilizing multiple ones of these. So let me show you the results here. Uh, let me tell you first, we're going to start by saying that I started with just trimmings of Glosso in each one and enough to fit in the palm of my hand. Now, I lost the footage that showed the Glosso uh, that I was able to do. So I basically took enough Glosso in the palm of my hands and put it in each one of these and just spread it out. There literally was just little pieces here and there throughout the container. So let's start with the 6500K. And as you can see here, it's done quite nicely. Now I have helped it a little bit by every time it grew, I would cut it and plant the trimmings along here. And it's actually doing very nice. And as you can see here, we have pretty good growth. So I'm actually really impressed with the amount of growth in here. Now this actually can use more of a trimming now if you're not familiar with propagating plants like this these are actually little stem plants and if you kind of cut them um, where the nodes are see there's actually roots growing where the nodes are if you cut them where every node is and just stick it in the soil it'll grow a new plant or what you can do is cut this whole piece lay it down flat and kind of like impact it into the soil and it'll grow and it'll actually grow m multiple plants off of that. But I've been just cutting the trimmings and just replanting them with a tweezer. Now, this is a little bit different over here. This was the uh, dwarf sage. We started with like three pieces of dwarf sage and right here we already have more than three pieces, but as you can see, we have a lot of dwarf sage in here. Not, not like a ton, but a lot more than three pieces, okay? So this I think is about to really take off. I'm actually really excited to try one of these under those grow lights and I'm gonna show you why in a second. Now I'm not saying one method is better than the other per se, just the results I got were a lot better under this grow light than I got under the 6500K. Now keep in mind, again, this is actually pretty good growth. This is over a month's worth of growth, okay? Now they both started with the same amount of plants. So let me show you this one right here. Now I'm gonna take this light off so you can see it. And then we're actually gonna compare too because I wanna show you there's a difference here in color. I mean, look at this. This is insane, the amount of growth we had in here. This is absolutely insane. There is a ton of growth within here. 
and it's carpeting, it's, and I really haven't helped this along as much as the other one. I am using the trimmings, but as you can see, there's like little smaller growth here that's doing its own propagation, and you can see the tinier plants coming up throughout the soil. Now look, this, this thing is almost fully carpeted. Uh, if I had a guess, I'm gonna say that this is probably about 10 to 12 inches, and it's a perfect square. So it's you ten. It's probably like a 10 by 10 or a 12 by 12. Not 100% sure, but I get just enough spread on here for like a, this particular area. Uh, the type of bulb that it is. Yeah, I got this right here. I'm cleaning up everything, but I left this. Is this hydroponic LED light? Uh, sandalwood, right? I got these on Amazon. I believe I paid about seven or eight dollars a piece of these. Really, really great. So I just want to show you. I think they have the color spectrum on here somewhere. Let's see here. They did have the color spectrum on one of them, but it's only the um, the red and blue spectrum. But it did have actually uh, the the details in nanometers. But on this, it's not really showing me on this one, so I'm guessing this is the wrong part of the brochure that, that I took out of the box. But that's okay. I'll do an update video on this light uh, after another like couple of weeks of growth. But let's compare the two. You can see this color. It's still literally nice and green, but this one right here is definitely darker green and much denser growth. Like night and day difference this is definitely growing a lot faster now again glosso is the type of plant that you would actually really benefit from using co2 if you grow it under water that's why i'm growing it like this because now you know out of the water it gets plenty of co2 so i don't have to run a tank with co2 but all i'm gonna say guys is that grow light if you're gonna be growing i'm gonna go on the, the limb here and say that if you're gonna be growing aquatic carpeting plants, immersed like I'm growing here, this is probably the way you wanna do it. Uh, don't get me wrong, that 6500K is doing a fine job. I'm just getting a lot more growth and faster accelerated growth from this one. Now I'm also gonna try something new as well. Like, so, so you see the light over this coral tank. These are T5s, okay? I'm not using that color spectrum. I'm gonna do 6500K daylight bulbs, okay? But we're gonna grow, we are actually gonna grow carpeting plants under that, this particular light. I got a new one in the mail that has six bulbs with nice reflectors that I'm gonna use over this tank. So I'm gonna change this into a bigger light fixture and I am gonna use this space up here to grow my carpeting plants under the T5, but here's some dwarf hair graft just under 6500K LED. The dwarf hair grass is actually doing really well over there. I'm not gonna open this one because there's actually some mat, some gnats in here. Uh, these guys are not doing as good and I actually fertilized this one, so I don't know if that's why they're growing slower or if it's the gnats, but I can tell you that not doing so hot. There's a lot of gnats in this one too. Uh, it's hard to really tell, but the swords are really growing kind of slow, but they are growing, they're just growing weird. And the Anubius actually is doing really well in there. Uh, again, can't really tell, but it's doing really well because it actually has grown a lot of new leaves. But that's my update for today, guys, on these plants. I'm actually really happy. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Visit me at greenoasisfarms.com and betteroasis.com. I'll talk to you soon.